Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very quick, uh, very basic blog using Eleventy and the Netlify CMS. This is going to be very basic with no uh, styling, uh, nothing fancy except a fully functioning backend that will let you add, edit, and remove blog posts. So uh, first you need add Node.js and npm installed. You also need Git installed. Um, you also need an account with GitLab or GitHub. I'm using GitLab here. Um, and you need an account with Netlify. So in GitLab, I'm going to create a new project. Um, and I'm probably going to call this uh, my uh, 11 Netlify blog. You can call this whatever you want. Mine's going to be public. So let's create that. And I'm going to clone this. I'm going to go git clone, paste that in. It's going to uh, give you a warning, but that's fine. CD my 11T Netlify blog. Uh, and now we're going to install 11T. So we're going to go npm install at 11T slash 11T. We're going to go save dev. So this is going to install 11T to my project, and that will help Netlify uh, build the uh, build the site later. Um, I'm this uh, is going to be very quick, very dirty. There's going to be no um, best practices or anything like that. Uh, there might be some uh, mistakes, but uh, we're just going to go all the way through and hopefully uh, in a very short amount of time, you'll see how you can have your own blog. So we have now created our uh, our folder. We have 11 installed. Um, I'm actually going to open the right folder, uh, my 11 Netlify blog. All right, so I'm going to create a few folders here. The first one being underscore includes slash layouts. Then I'm going to create images slash uploads. Then I'm going to create admin. And then I'm going to create posts. That's all in the, uh, in the root um, of the project. So now I'm going to create a new file called .11t.js. This is a simple configuration file that 11t uses. Um, and we're just going to tell it to copy a couple of, of uh, folders once it creates our website. Module.exports equals function. Function 11t config. T config dot add pass through copy and we're gonna throw in images. I'm gonna copy and paste that and I'm going to change it to admin. So this is just telling 11T when you create my website, copy in the images folder, copy in the admin folder. Perfect. So now in the layouts folder, that's layouts, uh, sorry, includes slash layouts, we're going to add base njk. This is going to be the base uh, HTML file um, that every other page will be rendered uh, on top of. So let's do this real simple. My Lenty Netlify blog. Like I said, this is very quick, very simple. Um, Break this out though, at least. In the body here, I'm uh, just gonna really simply have a header. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Uh, and then underneath that, I'm going to add content. Uh, this is what is going to actually render our page content. So that's it for the base.njk file. Uh, on At the root of our directory, we're going to create index.njk. Uh, everything between these hyphens is what we call front matter. It's going to uh, essentially give our pages some variables um, that 11 we use. So we're going to go layouts. Uh, so the layout is going to be a layout base.njk. That means this page is going to render on top of the base.njk file. Um, 
permalink is going to be forward slash, that means it's going to be the home page. Now we're going to add some basic markdown here. Um, I'm just going to use plain text to be honest. To the to my 11t Netlify blog. Netlify and Netlify. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually uh, already uh, go ahead and try and render our website. Using 11t, we're going to say npx 11t serve. Alright, so that's going to generate our website and then it's going to host it at localhost 8080. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like here. Brilliant, so there we go. Our blog is already up. Um, so now the next thing to do is to actually add some blog posts. So back in our editor, we are going to, um, first of all, let's add a layout called post.mjk. Um, we're going to come back to this in just a second. We're going to go into the posts folder and we're going to create posts.json. This uh, JSON file is simply going to have tags, posts. Um, this is going to tag every markdown file in this folder with the posts tag. Um, and that will help us to actually render a list of our blog posts. So let's go ahead and actually add a blog post before we do anything else. New file, my first post.md. We're going to add some front matter here, and this is gonna this is where you're gonna see what the front matter actually does for us. So first of all, the layout is going to be layouts slash post.njk. And we're going to set a title. My first post. We're going to set a description. First post on my blog. We're going to set a date. Uh, 4, 25. And we're going to add a featured image. And we're going to put this image in forward slash images forward slash uploads forward slash image one image one dot jpeg so I'm actually going to grab that image real quick and copy it in um, I have it on my desktop uh, no I don't uh, we'll grab whatever we can sure this one will do just fine um, we're going to copy this into projects uh, my oh, my 11t netlify blog images uploads Let's paste in so slapcity.png. There we go. Whatever. Uh, any any image works. This is just an example. Um, then we're going to add some markdown here. Um, again, I'm just going to use plain text because why not? Hello. Here is the body of the post, and that's it. Um, so bear in mind, whereas I'm creating a blog post like this right now, as an example. You won't do this ever again because the Netlify CMS will take care of this for you. Uh, this is purely an example. Um, so now we actually need to uh, go back to our post.njk. This is the layout that is going to show the blog post. Our front matter uh, just has one in it, uh, as its layout is going to be, can you guess? It's going to be layouts paste.njk. Now we're going to add some HTML in here. So we're going to go h2 title. You might be able to guess how this is going to work now. Oops. We're going to go h3 description. Uh, actually, no, let's let's change this. Let's go date in there. And then we're going to go image source equals featured image. And we're going to point this to the URL of the featured image, and that will make sure it shows up properly. Um, because uh, let's add an alt. Uh, and I'm actually just going to set the alt to the title of the blog post um, for this purpose. We'll close that. And then we're going to do p. And I'm going to say content safe. 
and the content safe is where that markdown uh, will be rendered. So there we go. That is it for our post, um, our post page. Um, so now we are going to um, make a way to uh, view a list of these posts. Uh, but first of all, just so you know, 11T is actually going to take this posts folder um, and it's going to create a separate web page for every single post, um, which is super helpful. So posts list.mjk, this is going to give us a list of our posts. So we're going to go to ul. We're just going to create a list of posts here. So like I said, no best practices, no styling or anything. Strong post dot um, actually let's uh, let's do something else here real quick a href equals post dot url point that to the url post dot data dot title just put that in there and then we're going to say slash a Strong. I'm going to add a little dash there just for formatting. Time, date time, post dot date, post dot date. I'm going to close that time, another dash, and I'm going to create a span um, just to keep everything all, all on one line. Post dot data dot description. Close that span. So what you can see here um, is that this uh, layout is going to take uh, all the data from the front matter of our posts, and it's going to create a uh, an object here with all that data. But we actually need to make it do this for every post, not just for one. So we're going to add in for posts in uh, let's say for post in posts list. And then after the list is closed, we're going to say end for. So that's basically for each post that's in that folder, uh, create this uh, list item right here. So it's really simple. Um, that is our posts list.njk. Um, so now we're going to finally create a new file in the root called posts.njk. And this is going to be the page that displays our list of blog posts. So we're going to add layout, layout slash base to NJK as always. And its permalink is going to be slash posts. So in a posts list, we added this posts list variable. So we're going to set that up here and we're going to say set posts list equals collections dot posts. So this collection is actually created by our posts.json file here. Uh, and then under that we're going to say include posts list dot njk. Cool, so now we're saying set posts list to collection dot post and then render the posts list. And the posts list here takes our variable. Um, sorry, saying that very quickly is difficult for me. <laughs> um, so that is everything there. I'm actually going to copy these two lines though, and I'm going to put them on our home page just for ease of use. So let's paste those in there and save. If we go back to our terminal here, uh, we can see it's it's been uh, generating our website the whole time. So here it is my first post, we're going to click it, and there is our post. Um, and also if we go to slash posts, uh, we, we also have the list of posts there. Um, so in, in a final blog you might have a different home page with like a link to a posts page for example. So that is it for our blog part. Uh, that is now working great. So I'm going to stop this with control C, git add dot, Give that a minute. Git comet dash m 
clock system working. And we're gonna go ahead and push that to the repository. All right, so now if I go back to my GitLab, we can see everything we've just done in there. Perfect. Now it's time to get the Netlify CMS working. So we are going to go to netlify.com. I'm going to go ahead and log in. New site from Git. I'm going to connect it to my GitLab. I'm going to choose my repository here, my 11 blog. The build command is going to be npx 11 We don't need the serve part because we're not um, making a, a server to test it. Um, and the published directory is going to be underscore site. In our project, you can see underscore site, and this is the actual final rendered uh, website. Um, you should generally never have to touch this folder though, um, but we're going to point, um, sorry, we're going to point our uh, CMS to it. So deploy our site. So this is going to give us a name for the site, um, and it's going to tell us uh, that it's building. That is just going to take a few moments. Um, but if you click on this, you can see it building uh, if you're in, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, we're not right now, though, so we're going to go ahead and go back. Just give this a minute. All right, so we're published. It will now give us this link so we can go to our site. There we go. So this is live on the internet now, which is great. Now we're going to go to identity. We're going to enable identity. This is a, a service that Netlify provides to allow you to do authentication uh, and accounts and stuff like that. Uh, once we're in there, we are going to go to settings and usage. We're going to go down and find services. And we're going to enable Git Gateway. Uh, this uh, connects to GitLab's API. Um, it basically lets the website modify your repository without directly logging in uh, each time, which is very helpful. Um, so now uh, that is all good. This is ready to go. All we have to do now is go back to our project um, and start working on this. So let me tidy up a little bit here. So we're going to go to admin. We're going to create a new file index.html. Uh, I'm going to cheat here by copying and pasting. Um, this, uh, this, uh, this is actually available on the Netlify CMS website. Uh, it's essentially uh, just some code to render the, uh, the, the CMS, um, but we don't need to edit this or anything, so I'm just copying and pasting it in. Again, in the admin folder, we're going to create config.yaml. So the config.yaml file is what is going to uh, tell the CMS how to handle our blog, essentially. Um, so first, we're going to go backend. Now, if you don't know YAML files, they work on indentation. Um, most editors will take care of it for you, but it's a good point to bear in mind. So the backend we're going to use is git gateway, which we just enabled. Branch. Uh, I'm just going to have this push straight to the master branch. That, that works for me. Now we're going to tell it where to store our images. We're going to get rid of that indent media folder. So the media folder is where our uh, final published site will find the images it needs. So this is actually going to be underscore site images uploads. That's because the final rendered site is in the underscore site folder. Again, with no indent, we're going to add public folder. I'm going to add images slash uploads. Um, and that is our actual direct folder here before the render. Oh, sorry, before the uh, the build of the website. All right. Now, finally, we are going to add collections, and this is where things get interesting with uh, with the with the YAML uh, file. We're going to create a new collection. We're going to call it name posts. We are then going to give it a label of posts. We're then going to tell it which folder uh, to get those posts from, which is the posts folder. Very exciting stuff here. Create 
true. This means that can a, this is asking, can a user create a new post? We're saying yes. And we're going to create the slug. This is the URL for each blog post. Um, I actually like to set this to the year, to the month, to the day, and then the slug. Now it's really important to notice here that these uh, double brackets don't have a space um, like our, uh, let's see, like our content safe has this, our title have, have spaces before and after. The YAML file does not. This blocked me for uh, hours when I was creating this. Um, so they don't have spaces. The slug will take the title of the page and sanitize it so there's no symbols and stuff. Um, yeah. So now we're going to say fields. And this is going to tell the CMS what fields should I display uh, to let people edit posts. So pretty simple. We're going to start with uh, label layout name layout widget hit and default layouts slash post dot So this one specifically is saying uh, this is going to be the layout for the page. We're not going to let the user edit it, and it's going to default to posts. So that means every new post that's added will automatically use the post layout. For more complicated blogs, you could change that. Uh, like if you had a posts and a pages collection, um, you could point that to whatever you like. Uh, but this is good for now. The next one is going to be label, title, name, title widget string. So this is the title of the blog post, which if we go back into my first post, is this right here. Um, so the name should match uh, each of these. Uh, I should also mention that the label uh, is what will uh, be displayed on the CMS itself to say this is what the section is. So let's go label description, name, description, widget is going to be string. Uh, this is going to be label date, name, date, widget, you guessed it, it's going to be date. Um, so and uh, we're actually going to set a default for this one as well to make sure it doesn't default to any date. You could set it to today's date or something if you wanted to. Um, there's a lot more information on the available widgets. There's a bunch, different, a bunch of different ones you can use uh, on the CMS website, uh, the Netlify CMS website. So now we're going to do label body name uh, body widget markdown. Uh, this is the actual uh, the, con the blog post content itself. Finally, label featured, featured image in featured image widget image. Okay, so that is uh, it for now uh, for our config.yaml. Each of these must match the front, the front matter you want to be available in your post. Um, and like I said, there's many more you can choose. Uh, you can customize this any way you like, but for that, this purpose, uh, that's it. So now we need to add a couple things again from the CMS website. So these are going to be copied and pasted in. Um, let me grab this. In the head of our base.njk, we're going to add this line. This will essentially uh, help us to create the, uh, the login widget for the, uh, for the CMS. In the same file, I'm going to grab this. Underneath everything else, before the end of the body, I'm going to add this script tag. Uh, again, this is all just copied and pasted from the Netlify CMS website. For our purposes, there's no reason to edit this. Um, and uh, 
and that is actually it. That is your blog done. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to git add git comment CMS added git push. So this is going to upload it to our website. Um, the CMS pretty much takes care of itself other than the config.yaml file. So let's go ahead and take a look here. You can see our push is here, it's queued. Um, this might take a few minutes depending on how busy um, Netlify is at the time. Um, so yeah, we're ready to start. There we go, we're building now, so that's good. Give me for this a second. It shouldn't take too long to build. Uh, it's a very simple uh, static site generator and usually very, very, very fast as well. Uh, all right, it looks like we're done. So um, here's our website again. And now we're going to go to forward slash admin. And we should be taken, uh, let's see, what mistake did I make here? Year, month, day, slug made a mistake on the YAML file. Let me just uh, reference back to one of my other uh, old attempts so that I don't have to keep you. Oh, I just used slug for that. Well, let's, let's just do that then, why not? Oh, okay, no, this is simple, sorry, my bad. So all we have to do is add the, uh, add the, uh, add the quotation marks there. So let's uh, go ahead and push this again. Git add, git comment, fixed dummy mistake, and config.yaml, git push. Yeah, quotation marks are very important in the, uh, in the YAML file. Um, for the most part, everything, we use them the whole way through. Um, so there we go, we've pushed that. Uh, we're gonna go back to our overview. So we can see it's building. Still building. There we go, oh, there we go, we're published. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go to admin. There we go. So now we can log in with Netlify identity. So let's go ahead and create a new site for this, kerberg at gmail.com. My super secure password, log in. Oh, sorry, I've got to sign up first. Go kerberg at gmail.com. All right, so that's going to send a confirmation email to my email. Verify us or ver verify ourselves, and that's going to log us right in. And here we are in the Netlify CMS. Um, so here's my first post, as you can see the title, the description, the date, the body, and the featured image. And you can see the final rendered post here. So let's go ahead and add a new post. We're going to say colors CMS post first post made with CMS. Date is going to be today's date. Hooray, we created a blog very fast with a fully functioning CMS. Featured image. Um, here is the image that is in our uploads folder. Let's go ahead and upload our own image. Um, let's see, I'm going to grab what's a, what's a great game in here. We're going to, let's do Sonic. Um, Going to upload this picture, choose selected, there we are, and let's hit publish. Now if we go back to uh, entry saved, if we go back to Netlify, we can actually see that it's now building this post. So give that one minute to build in there. It can take uh, a minute or two um, for the posts to actually arrive because they have to be committed and added to your Git repository. 
uh, and rebuilt. Um, so there we go, let's go back to our website. And there we go, there's our other post. And there we have a fully functioning blog, um, albeit very basic. The date could use some formatting. Um, you know, we could use some styling in here. Um, you know, this isn't uh, supposed to be a attractive blog, but it does work perfectly. Uh, and how long did we take to make this? Uh, 30 minutes, pretty much exactly. Um, so half an hour from absolute scratch to completed uh, CMS-enabled blog. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm a bit uh, scrambled all over the place, um, but I hope it showed you how these two, uh, you know, uh, how 11T and the Netlify CMS can work together easily, quickly, seamlessly. Um, I highly recommend you take a look at my blog post, which has some more things like uh, formatting this date using Luxon. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, please let me know. Um, and uh, I'd love to see what you create. I'm a really huge fan of Eleventy. Um, so yeah, I'd really love to see what you make. And uh, if this helped you, I'd really like to hear that as well. So thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.